Hey going, it's Adam Mortimer from Seattle Boats and really excited to show you our new model release, the TJ60, made by us. Just before it gets delivered to Mackay for our customer up there, I just wanted to run through and show you some of the features that you know we've put into this boat for our customer and also ones that come standard and, and why we've done it and what we've done. If we start at the bow, I'll just show you, talk a little bit forward why we've done it. This is our six metre model and it's measured before any bowsprit or um, any anchors or anything like that, so it's six metres to the nose there. You'll notice that we have full trines that wrap right up to the bow. Uh, we did that a couple of reasons, to try and keep the boat nice and dry, also to give it a sharper four foot entry uh, midships, but also to help um, personalising that boat to really keep it different from every other boat that's on the market as well. This one comes with an electric motor mount that the customer wanted. you also notice that it's got a turn buckle on there to stop any rattles and rolls, because I hate noise as much as the customer does when you've got chain rattling around in your boat. This particular boat um, in our six meters and our 5.3 all come with five mil bottoms, five mil transoms and four mil sides and four mil deck sheets, girders, bulkheads, uh, the rest of it's just all four mil, so it's a really solid boat. Now, want to show you, this, this customer is going to eventually wrap this boat, but we buffed and clear coated the sides just to keep a nice finish on it. And if you just walk around the back, it's sitting nice on a Dumbia tandem trailer there. Uh, the guys at Dumbia have set up for us and have really supported us through the business. Powered by 140 Suzuki, um, they've really looked after us and the customer has specified that he wanted a Suzuki, so we do Suzuki or Mercury, so um, this particular model goes really well hand in hand with this boat. Just a couple of functions, if you look at the back of the boat, it's got a 17 degree constant dead rise. So it only draws 300 millimetres of water with the leg up, so you can really get into those, uh, those shallow spots, but it also has got enough V in it, and being a constant dead rise, it really rides well through the chop when the customer and most of the guys go out and do a bit of open water work. You notice too, it's got full chines and that aft of the boat, they're 230 millimetres wide to help keep it nice and stable at rest, as particularly this boat's rated for six people. Uh, it has got to handle the weight of all that on one side in particular. You notice here too, it's got a deck pad and also some lifting lugs here for tie down lugs for the customer hooker to get strapped to, who does a lot of diving up there as well. Uh, a full, full transom of 600 mil to the false transom here. Uh, and it also has a 25 mil step up to the floor there so that the scuppers are really at floor height so everything drains out nicely. Also an overflow here for our live bait tank just so there's no water that runs down the sides in, and may discolour the paint in future years to come so it all runs out the back nicely. Uh, particularly for this customer he wanted uh, the option of being able to sco uh, ski with the kids and put a tube on the back so we put some lugs on there for him as well. Um, Opted for a single transducer bracket uh, with our own shroud on there, hooked up to a Garmin 95 Chirp as well, and a good unit that all works together really well. So we also have the inlet here for a flooding kill tank, which I'll show you when we hop in the boat. Um, but if you want to come in, we'll jump in the boat. And again, customer opted for a two steps because they do a lot of diving and a transom door. To keep it nice and simple. So with this particular unit, the, the customer wanted a side console and he liked the grey and the black so we were able to match that together for him. He wanted to seat as many people as he could so we've got three deluxe brand new relaxing seats that have just been released. We also have a nice folding rear seat lounge where it works like that and that's also removable. So. If you're just going out, just with a couple of boys, you can take it straight out. Live bait tank, again, this is a custom size made live bait tank. Uh, quite large, it holds about 55 litres there. Uh, again, depending on what we put in, we can make them bigger or smaller, depending on what uh, the customer wants going in there. A couple of little bits and pieces here with the customer shelf on the bait board. This is removable. Uh, also, a little bit of bling there for his uh, lures when he sl uh, and slugs when he does his mackerel fishing. A couple of things here as well that we talked about is a nice hidden kill tank or flooding kill tank there which can be bunged, filled with ice, um, storage, wet storage, whatever you like to do or just have it go flowing in and out. It'll, it'll stay a couple of inches below the top um, so it won't flood out. 
a really popular popular item especially because it's flush mounted doesn't take up any extra room salt water deck wash there it's all plumbed 150 litres of fuel under the floor in its own cell and uh, also here you'll see where the filler is we put pretty much standard on all our boats is like a spill lip and you'll notice as well this is completely sealed under here so if you ever ever got to get the tank or the floor out there's this actual unit here that can come off and you all the piping and everything's exposed so it's not actually going under the floor sheets it's all one unit there which doesn't go into the floor at all or anything like that uh, a standard casting deck we have here now this one is alloy frame with marine ply and carpet on it or we can make one that's fully alloyed but on this one we did just our marine ply and aluminium and a couple of bins that go in there with carpet in the bottom there so they don't make any noise but you also notice that we paint the hole inside of the of the, under the deck there so it looks nice as well when you go in more storage there as well for when you can put battery mounts in there for when he hooks up his electric motor and then coming right to the front a huge anchor well that's been carpeted and has a false floor in it as well on this side as well is another fold away step uh, sorry seat so that um, everyone can have a seat when they get underway full length side pockets that we've carpeted as well uh, on this particular unit we've got the high drive steering um, EK map 95 chirp matched to the Suzuki through its backbone um, a great little unit uh, like I said this boat can be totally customized or left standard uh, we have a list of options that you can pick from it really is a boat to be able to get customers into it and also without breaking the bank this unit as it sits drive away regos safety gear complete package was $55,000 which I think is very good value for money so if you want to know any more about us look us, look us up at Facebook on uh, Sea Addicts or my personal page but also www.seaddicts.com.au is our web page give us a call anytime we're more than happy to speak to you and come down and have a look especially